Nigel Farage's Reform UK uh, Flag Day policy uh, this afternoon on Metro newspaper. And then he's written a personal piece just now, which has been published on uh, the Telegraph, uh, in, in, in the Telegraph. Um, I find it astonishing that he can command this sort of uh, media coverage for whatever whatever uh, plan he's got to attract attention. His plan to initiate a private prosecution against two individuals involved in the altercation at Manchester Airport on July the 23rd speaks to the this emerging discussion, this, this conversation about British policing and justice. And at its core... Um, he says that British policing, the, the British policing model is anchored in Robert Peel's principle of policing by consent, which emphasizes public trust, support and community centric relationships. And this tacit social contract ensures that officers, often unarmed, served with public endorsement, assured that they will be protected and held um, and um and, 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 and that the fair standards will be maintained. But when the trust fractures, when officers fear political abandonment or being sacrificed for external motives, the system, Farage claims, begins to erode. Um, experienced personnel may leave, recruitment falters, specialised teams become less appealing, and the response to attacks on officers becomes a litmus test for this trust. So Farage's call for a private prosecution after the failure of the Crown Prosecution Service to bring charges against the people involved in the Manchester airport situation, um, he says, underscores the accusation of a two-tier justice system, a claim that he's repeated in Parliament, framed it against swift actions seen after summer riots when the CPS moved decisively, echoing the Prime Minister's calls for rapid consequences. And the July incident, which took place earlier, left four officers injured with one suffering broken bones, was captured in violent detail by CCTV footage, yet the CPS's inaction has stoked controversy heightened by the Independent Officers Office for Police Conduct, uh, the, uh, the concurrent investigation which appears to pause the CPS's progress, reversing the traditional sequence of any inquiry. And Farage's decision to step in with the support of TMI Limited a private prosecution firm, uh, underscores his critique of inconsistency in the judicial response. By taking this path, Farage positions Reform UK as a champion of frontline police protection, advocating for a judicial system untainted by perceived political influences. And his stance not only leverages public frustration over perceived discrepancies in justice, but also challenges the state's hesitancy potentially shifting public sentiment on who truly upholds justice. The wider implications of this move are profound. If the CPS were to take over and subsequently drop the private prosecution, uh, it would ignite a debate over the autonomy and impartiality of the justice system. This episode serves as a microcosm of broader tensions within the UK's legal and political landscape where policing by consent meets the modern reality of public scrutiny and political advocacy. I, I'd be really interested to know whether or not you think Farage's move is right, um, and, and 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 whether or not you think the police are wrong. And uh, I, we we all saw that footage, and it seemed particularly shocking. Uh, do you think there is a two-tier policing system? I, I'd be fascinated to know what you think.